This episode is all about my car. I'm lying, it's not. It's all about four incredibly talented artists that y'all should know about who are all from Raleigh, North Carolina, where me and this car are actually from. Shooting four artists in one studio session is all about being prepared. And that's my take through and through on this topic. So let me introduce to you the cast of today's video. First up, we've got Madrik Sanders. He's a rapper, a songwriter, and he's got his own record label, Dreams of Children. Gotta leave my crib, man, my luck is important. Y'all fishing for that attention, my ride is in work. I don't be on the scene, I'm just chilling recording. Next up, we've got Bobby James. He's also a rapper and songwriter out of Raleigh, North Carolina. He is amazing. You do not want to miss the music he's got coming up next. They call me Big Bobby Poppy, though. Southside Raleigh, we poppin', though. Raleigh niggas keep their heavy metal in their skinny jeans, no rock and roll. Drill, I swing, no roster, though. Only day one's how I'm rockin', though. I'm with Poob hanging out the window, yelling, woo, pop smoke. I'll never. And then one more rapper and songwriter, Nance. Nance is a special case for me because he was my roommate for like three years, but he's an incredibly talented artist out of Raleigh, North Carolina as well. You should absolutely hear his music that he's got out and the album that we'll be shooting for today, Everyday Dream, that is on the way. And uh, yeah, just keep a lookout for everything he's got coming up as well. Hey, this year I'm showing up for me. Jumping off the ledge, I'm tired of living comfortably. Been living in my head, I'm feeling I had enough for me. If I keep thinking this way, then it's a dub for me. Next up, we've got Ruben Rodriguez, who is an incredible graphic designer. Not only has he done my logo, my Film Lab logo, posters and flyers for different shows that I've had, but he's done all of Nance's, Bobby, and Madrid's graphic design. It's iconic stuff. This is the dream team right in front of you. All right, so first up, I'm shooting with Dreek. Today, Dreek and I are gonna be shooting an album cover for his next album, Big Dreek, and some press photos to support it. Let's, uh, let's do it. What's up? You ready? Let's go! Let's go. Our inspiration is very simple. It's just this one photo of Pharrell in the studio in this sort of orangish world that we're gonna play off of, and we'll see what happens from there. I'm thinking I'm gonna bring out the projector. This is gonna be a good first shot. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Cool. All right, this is gonna be an iconic one. All right, chin up a little bit. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one, don't blink. All right, big smile on this one. One, don't blink. Gorgeous. Cool, let me switch up the lighting one time. You wanna switch it to the other shirt? So right now, Ruben is going to pull up a logo that he designed for Dreek's next album cover, and we're going to project it on the wall behind. We're just playing around. It's time, Dreek. Bro, this is gonna be a special photo. All right, yeah, just look over at me like that. Three, two, one down towards me. I want to get a smile out of you because I feel like every song I've heard on this, you're kind of talking your shit a little bit. Three, two, one. Get one more. Oh yeah, right there. Right there. Okay, last two, different color. What are we feeling? Blue? Let's try blue. I'm gonna get up here and try like a, oh, that's sick. All right, three, two, one. Yeah. Three, two, one. Cool, bro. Yeah, bro. Next up, we've got Bobby. He wants to replace the single cover for a song he's got coming out called Always with something new. He doesn't like the photo that he has there anymore. That's fine, it happens. We both want to shoot it on black and white film and make it super conceptual to make it kind of fit this cover. So let's see how it goes. Intermission, Bobby's outfit is fire. It's a custom piece from a Raleigh brand named Raleigh Denim. And I had to shoot him in this little couch area. Chin up a little. Oh, that smile was gorgeous, bro. All right. 
to walk with me, please. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. I'm just gonna shoot the the shoes. Okay. Three, two, one. No, you just relax a little bit. Okay. Bring this arm over. It's like right there. Okay. And then hold your hold your fingers together, like one. Yeah, like that. I want you to sit right here, lean into this. Just trying to get that good light on your face. All right, you can stop. That was cool. And now just look right here. That's crazy. One, almost fell. All right, lounge back in that chair. This is the last shot. Like how we did the first one? Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, let's 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 get to the studio shoot with, uh, with Bobby now. What if we made it like it, like a straight on portrait uh -huh. and it's like eyes and nose and then we could like add a bunch of more of your eyes everywhere. Oh, love cool. that bro. Yeah. One and don't move. All right, now we're gonna do your left eye. my projector to make different sized circles and shapes to highlight different parts of Bobby's face so that we could create in post some sort of conceptual piece like I've done here. Of course, a graphic designer can take it as far as they'd like it, but it's a cool baseline. Next, Bobby stood in front of a white background. I took a photo of him on my phone. I airdropped it to my computer. I took that silhouette, inverted it to white, copied it, and made a object for Bobby to stand in for the next set of photos. Yeah. I'll just shoot one of the silhouette. Chin up a little. Three, two, one. Fire. All right, yeah, look right at me. Three, two, one, and don't blink. Bobby also wants some in-color press photos, something simple, something aura-like, just uh, almost like he's floating in space. Why don't you look like out that way a little bit? Yeah. Dude, it looks like you're just like in, a, like in space. Look right at me. Three, two, one. Now look over at me. Yeah, like that. Bob, what are we doing here? And now chest towards me. Yeah, that shit's hard. Now right here, turn your face towards me a little bit more. Yeah, right there. Uh, hold both sides of your hat. Three, two, one. Right there, straight faces for this one. Ruben and I have had a fun photo shoot workflow where I've shot cool photos of him and then he's graphic designed on top of them. That's what we're gonna do today. So you'll see a before and after on screen of the original shot and what he designed on top of it. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Heaviest shutter ever. All right, I'm gonna need you to look over here. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that was great. Three, two, one. Stay right there. Don't move at all. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It's a wrap, Ruby. Last up, my boy Nance. He's been working on his album every day dream for a minute now, so every time we're in the same place, we shoot a new piece of content for it, whether that's press photos, album art, a single cover, something to fit in this everyday dream world. And today, we decided to make clouds, hang them around him, and shoot him within this world of clouds, which perfectly encapsulates every day dream. Oh my God, dude. All right. Three, two, one.
Yeah, right there. That's great. Just look straight forward, yeah. Three, two, one. down a little bit. Yeah, right there. Look out. Look out where you were looking. Yeah, right there. Don't smile. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now smile. Three, two, one. Oh my God, bro. It's so fire. And that's what it looks like to do four photo shoots with four artists in just four hours. Be prepared, even if it's just having an iPad, notes app, kind of documentation of a little bit of what you wanna do with each of them. Preparation doesn't have to be like the biggest pitch deck you've ever seen. I've booked studio sessions for four hours with one artist where I wasn't prepared like I was here, and it didn't go nearly as well as this did. I had four hours, and I was able to devote one hour to each artist, and I think we made a little bit of magic for each of them. I created this series, Good Exposure, because when you take a good film photo, you can call it a good exposure because like, you exposed it properly, right? But it's kind of a play on words because good exposure also means like shedding some light onto people you care about and people you believe in. And Nance, Bobby, Ruben, and Madrique all deserve your time of day and attention, so make sure you check them out in the links below and stay up to date on where those photos that we shot today actually end up. All right, well, this is, uh, this is the end of episode two, and look forward to episode three. It's another big one. I'm Linus, by the way. Bye. So awkward.